when they were cutting her private parts. They did not kill her before they cut her private part. Off. If you are a lover to wrestling, there is one thing they call hell in the cell. Hell in the cell, that was what my sister went through. Before her last breath, her heart. Hey guys, Blessing here. How are you all doing? So I need to first of all say that this is a very, very painful and agonizing video to watch. It is the full story of how 22-year-old Ayonwale Oluwa Bamishe got killed on a state-owned bus in Lagos State, Nigeria. Bamishe actually went missing on the 26th of February this year but was later found dead just yesterday the 7th of March after her body was discovered by locals in the area where her mutilated naked body was dumped. Bamishe boarded the bus at about 7pm that night after she left work. She sensed danger as the bus driver did not stop to pick any other passenger at the subsequent bus stops. She then sent voice notes to her friend and told her friend to pray for her. Take a listen. <laughs> And that was the last anyone ever heard of Bamiche. According to eyewitnesses, she was thrown out of the bus and some of her body parts were said to have been missing for suspected money rituals. The bus that carried her was said to have driven off and there are reports that she was alive when she was thrown out of the bus and that she even cried for help before she gave up the ghost. Bamiche's mom is inconsolable. <laughs> identification number 240257 led to the arrest of one Mr. Andrew Nice, who happens to be the driver of the BRT bus that Bamiche had boarded at the time of her death. The 47-year-old Mr. Andrew has now been arrested and is expected to be arraigned in court very soon to face justice. Let's listen to his own account of events. But I pick her from Chevron. Then I pick the other three guys at... Uh, Begin. Okay. When those guys showed me the weapon, as I was saying, sir, I was kind of, I can't be myself anymore. Fears have come in me. So whatever, the man on gun, sit down there, whatever he told me, it's what I do. When I followed that cutter bridge, after they had to overhead bridge, they ordered me to stop there. And when they ordered me to stop, so I should open the door. When I opened the door, then the last track, when they come down, the now start dragging her down. When I saw she was crying for help, actually I'm helpless. So I was just thinking that she's inside the vehicle holding the iron. So I move on. I arrested her last night. How did they arrest you? Where I ran to was when the issue happened. I'm afraid. So according to what the bus driver is saying, he claims that after he picked Bamiche at a particular bus stop, that he picked three other guys at another bus stop and that those guys allegedly had weapons on them. 
The driver further explained that the guys ordered him to stop the bus whereafter they started to drag Bamiche out of the bus. And he also says that that was the point he drove off believing that Bamiche was still hanging on to the rail of the bus. Already in my own view, this story doesn't really add up. You claim you were very terrified of those weaponed guys, yet you drove off when a lady was being dragged out of the bus without you being sure if she was out of the bus or still inside of the bus. Now, after his arrest, a press conference was held where Bamish's elder sister expressed herself in such a painfully emotional manner. I went to Akita Police Station. Police Station. To report on Sunday when I heard about this. In jail, I'm in jail. Can I see my lovely sister back? Can she call me the day she used to call me again? He called me. He had money with me. And he said, I'm in the country. Oh, I'm in the country. 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 When I got to um, Akifa in the police station, I reported this matter. The woman, I don't know whatever she is there, maybe this or whatever. After seeing all the evidence, the video, and her voice, she told her power. I see she never had child before. I see she never cried or go on her news for the delivery of her own children. Maybe that is why she does not know what it takes for a soul not just killed. She suffered hand. Now, the unborn child that I remember Michelle has left her working place. So go and help the mother. At it be on you. The boy has been delivered. Now we are going to tell the story of Baby Shay. To this child. That it was when you were coming to this world. That they took your sister, your mother away. Governor Saul, I am challenging you. You have seen my family. At Ripe and Olo, we don't have money. But we have Almighty God. We are happy, hard working. There is no lazy one among us. Agile. Christian to the core. Then why did the government now use our last bomb for the things of the world? Money ritual, you know. Now, the driver, please, and you many here, people in the world. Mr. Muhammadu Buhari, listen to me. He said that they attack him with gun or whatever. He has to obey. Fine, you were being attacked. But after they left, 
You drove the bus to the BRT office. Those are the questions for the group for the general leader. Comfortable. You do not even have the pace of that girl when they were cutting her private part. Life. You drove down, you went home with your family, happy that you have succeeded. But you never knew that the girl has taken all the details of you. Because it is the details of him that the lady took by capturing the number of doubles and the video and the voice. But I will try to be strong. Now, he said all this that it was an attack. Why did it he, when it got to the studio terminal or whatever? Why did it he tell them there that ha? Ah, boss, this is what happened to me. The lady, that is where the drop out. This and that. He didn't report to the police station. He didn't report to the elders there. He was there. Okay. Now, he resumed back work on Monday. Please, oh, if this is an attack, According to what he said, why will he be able to sleep and resume back to work on Monday? Mr. Baba Jide Sawolu and President Muhammad Buhari, I have a request, please. There is a man we met at the terminal. When we met him, he told us he know Andrew Nice. That is a gentleman. He said he know him to the court. He never knew that I was videoing him while holding my phone. He said two things. He said he has tried his number. His number is not going. He has forgotten that he said so. He now said another thing again. That he called him and he said he's coming that we soon get to the office. I have that evidence here. Maybe I should play it. Okay. He said that Michelle has gone to enjoy herself. That she will call us. That she did not want to call us now. Because she was enjoying us. Why they failed when they were cutting her private parts? They did not kill her before they cut her private part. If you are a lover to wrestling, there is one thing they call hell in the cell. Hell in the cell, that was what my sister went through. Before her last breath, her heart. My mom, 74 years old. My dad, I am now 84 years old. In the morning time, they did not mourn us, the children. Have to do. They never lost any child. Thank <laughs> you.
evening. They are enjoying the little talking that we are rendering to them. At night, they made my parents to put their two hands on their head and begin to mow their last one. The Kawalori, the first a jolly, Harry Wolfer, Harry Wakuri Levy. They suffer my parents. This girl that they murdered, her immediate senior sister, which is my junior sister, as we speak now, she has landed in the hospital and she is heavy, she is pregnant too. She is pregnant. Now she has landed in the hospital. I want me to love a man in the family. Mr. President, Mr. Governor, justice. This guy is a fashion designer. That is what she planned. And she she's doing brilliantly. Brilliantly well. But look at what they have cost. Look at what they have cost us. Please. We want justice. We went there. Somebody said I am mad. And he knew all about what is happening. Yes, at the PRT office. At the Lupe Juri, if I'm not mistaken. A man that has his own children, that knows what it takes. Even if a man does not uh, carry pregnancy, but you people are laboring on your children, he knows what it takes. He said, I am mad. He said, we are all mad. After they locked us outside, they did not allow us to come in to tender our letter. Please. Nigerian government. Are we mad? Myself and my family. Are we mad? My junior sister. All over the world, they are hearing. I know a lot of you are dummy, eh? A lot of me share being missed, kidnapped by a BRT boss. When she was alive, her name was not heard by anyone. But you people are here now to announce her death. I grew up meeting for no shabba yawa. Hope you no shabba wa wa My mother fainted. Our elder sister, which is the fourth one of the family, when she was crying for justice, she fainted. Nothing was happened to any of us. All we are asking for is justice. Is justice. Whoa, you guys, that. It's just extremely difficult to watch. Like, I don't think anyone can imagine what this family should be going through right now. 
Anyway, after everything, the bus driver was yet again interviewed and lo and behold, this time he gave a totally different story of what might have led to the death of Banishi. So when she threw her out of the she no. left her there and ran away. No, no, you are not. You are not saying the truth. You don't talk. You don't talk. You don't talk. You don't talk. You say you zoom wrong. You are not saying the truth. You are not saying the truth. Zoom wrong. Because wait, wait. If you had wait, 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 wait. You are not saying the truth. If that is what happened, people have. Uh, spread the video around so that they can know that her family will see her and see, look for her. See, see, you are not saying the truth. All right, so this guy, this bus driver, just nailed himself right here. Initially, in the first statement he gave, he said categorically that Bamishi was dragged out of the bus by three men who were weaponed and that he allegedly drove off during that scuffle. And now, during this second interview, this second statement, he is now saying that Bamishe forced herself out of the bus. He also mentioned that he had performed some dirty acts that caused Bamishe to force herself out of that bus. What dirty acts did he perform? He is just completely contradicting himself right now. What does this bus driver know? Who was he working with? Why didn't he report anything to anybody? Why was he on the run? The girl was missing for almost two weeks before his arrest. The news of her being missing was all over the place. There are just so many questions and just so many red flags here and there. But the current situation right now is that he continues to remain a suspect who is being held responsible for the abduction and murder of 22-year-old Anyawale Oluwa Bamishe. I will continue to keep an eye on this story and I will be so sure to bring you guys updates whenever we hear anything. So if you also want to follow this story, do make sure your notification bell is set on right on this page and that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss anything when I upload a video. For now, I want to pray for the family of Bamishe that God will continue to strengthen them in these very, very difficult times. And may the precious soul of Bamishe continue to rest in peace.